I am in the state of Puebla, and Puebla has nine designated Pueblos Magicos, or magical towns. And today in this video, we're going to visit two of them, Cholula and Atlisco. I hope you enjoy it. Today, it sounds like I'm walking into a battle zone. You hear that? The Battle of Chalupa. Viva! Their most famous church up on this hill was named by the Spaniards, Nuestra Señora de los Remedios, which was built in the 1500s by the Spaniards and it was placed right over their Great Pyramid, which today looks like a large hill that's overgrown with vegetation, but it's an important archaeological site. The base of this pyramid is four times the size of the Great Pyramid in Giza. The church that sits on top looks brand new, although it's centuries old. And underneath are tunnels that tourists can actually explore. So I recently, a couple hours ago, arrived in the town of Cholula. I'm actually spending the night here and I thought it was further away from Puebla then I originally figured it was about 20, a 20 minute Uber drive, so it's all right. It's gonna be nice to see what Cholula looks like in the evening time. I need to be careful not to say Cholupa. I think I've already said that once on video. But you know, when I, get, when I arrive to a place, a new Mexican city, I don't think to myself like normal people, you know, is this a safe city to visit in? I think in terms of, is this a place that I could live? In a two hour time span, I've come to really like Cholula. It has a small town feel. It is a, it is a big city. And there's a much larger city just down the road. I mean, look at this place around me. Restaurants, there's music going on. It seems very safe, everybody seems very nice. So yeah, you get the opportunity. First go to Puebla and then take a day ride to Cholupa. Cholula, I did it again, didn't I? Oh my goodness. <laughs> if you are a photographer, this is gonna be a good place for you to visit because there's so much color, there's so many angles and interesting characters. I mean, I'm not a photographer. I'm the last one to be able to tell you what to look for, but just take a look around. It's pretty awesome. Cholula is considered the oldest city in the Americas since it's been inhabited without interruption since its origins. When Hernan Cortez arrived, and even before Puebla existed, Cholula had a population of about 100,000 people. It was an indigenous capital. There's so much history in the city of Cholula. Cortez was supposed to meet Montezuma here, but since Cholula allied with the Aztecs, the Spaniards were suspicious. When Cortez was warned of a Cholula plot, the Spaniards charged and killed as many as 6,000 Cholula soldiers. However, Aztec record states the attack was unprovoked and now the event is known as the Cholula Massacre. Cholula is without a doubt a unique experience. Upon arriving to the second Pueblo Magico, which is Atlisco, I noticed in the distance yet another church on top of a hill. And I said to myself, I am not climbing to that church. Along the way up, you're treated to many sites such as a local neighborhood with beautiful murals and helpful people who are more than happy to point the direction to the church. <laughs> I 
Está loca. Una niña todavía. <risa> I've been waiting two days to see the top of this volcano. Two trips up the mountain, and there it is. It was cloudy this morning. I've waited probably an hour and a half, maybe even two hours, and the whole sky just cleared up for me. We're even getting a couple plumes out of the top of that volcano there. The second time was much easier up the hill. I'm not wearing a backpack today. These crickets seem to be a lot louder than I remember yesterday. But man, oh man, oh man. As I said, I was here yesterday and this was not like this yesterday. A storm blew through here last night and it appears we had a little rock slide. The hill closes at seven, so I'm sure there was no one around. The boulders tore the fence right out of the cement. The fence is designed to contain people, but it appears to have met its match. I'll never get tired of that view. Now Puebla and its surrounding towns, you have scored huge points in the Department of Plentiful Sanitarios up this hill. I've counted at least three, maybe four, going up this hill. But now it's time to head back down the hill and enjoy one of the most colorful pueblos in Mexico. Atlisco. Atlisco is about 40 to 45 minutes from the city of Puebla, heading east. It's best known for cultivating ornamental plants, most famous for poinsettias, where they produce 1.5 million of them per year, and 80% of the cut flowers are sent to the U.S. But what they're most proud of, aside from their beautiful view of the Popocatépetl volcano, is the best climate in Mexico. For the entire year, the average highs never exceeds 85 degrees. Bonito, ¿eh? ¿Qué es el precio por eso? No, no, no. 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 <laughs> es para usted. Sí. You want to know the easiest way for the locals to tell if you are a tourist or not? You watch as they attempt to pay the five peso toll to enter the baños. 